Today we're going to be building what I would consider the ultimate Starlink setup as far as portability bouncing between vehicle and vehicle. So for doing that, what we have is a mount setup from Star Mount Systems. This will take the Starlink, you will cut the back of it off and then you will mount it in this waterproof container. And then on the one end here is where you will have the connector come out as far as powering the Starlink. So this will house the Starlink itself. And then from there, we will take this star mount setup and we're going to mount it to a Milwaukee Packout. The reason behind this is I want to be able to mount it uh, onto our other Milwaukee Packout stuff and we can also mount it to the side of the vehicle. So we're going to take one of these small ones, we're going to trim this down so we'll eliminate the lid and all that and then we will mount it to the base plate here. Since they don't have anything like this, we're going to have to modify this to make that work. And then that will in total be pretty much the same thickness as this and it'll have a nice handle that you can pack the actual star mount system around. So that's going to be the setup for the star mount and the way I'm doing this is it's going to be a two-part system. You're going to have the Starlink satellite and then over here you're going to have the control box that runs it. So the main power that feeds the Starlink will be set up in this. And the reason for doing that versus having it all in one is if we're caught in a situation where we need to move the Starlink away from the vehicle, say 50 or 75 feet, we can simply unclick it from the packout system, go set that away from the vehicle, and then this will stay with the vehicle. And this itself will house the Wi-Fi setup and everything. I've seen some out there that have the Wi-Fi integrated into this. They do offer that, but I was a little bit worried that we were gonna give up some signal if we did that and we had to place it away from the vehicle. So that's why I'm doing it in two separate uh, setups. So this is gonna house all the rest of the stuff. So we will have our step-up converter from 12 to 48 volts. This is our injector that will uh, power the Starlink and go to the router. And then this is the router that we're gonna be using and then we also have uh, this power module that will power the Wi-Fi router. So over here is going to be all of those things hard mounted. And then in this section is where we're going to have the uh, spare cable in 50 feet or 75 feet, whatever we go with. On the outside of this box, we will mount these two plugs. One is going to be for power and then one is going to be for the Ethernet cable. These are waterproof setups. So we'll mount those on the outside and then these are the connectors that go to them. So on the, or on the star mount here, we'll have a little cable that comes out and this will plug into the side of this like so and it just clicks in. Like I said, these are all waterproof and then this will be the power setup. So when you uh, hook up 12 volt, that's what this will go to, feeding 12 volt to this. And then on the extension cord part, we will add, we'll put these on the ends of it. So you can plug in the extension cord directly to the Starlink here, and then it'll plug into this control box. So. Well, there's no going back now. We just <laughs> successfully ruined a Milwaukee Packout deal. Yeah. So this is the finished result as far as the Starlink mount setup goes. Like I said before, we trimmed down the Starlink and got, got it mounted in this star mount system. This basically encapsulates it in a waterproof housing. This is the connector that we need to put a ethernet cord on. And then on the back side here, you can see the aluminum plate that I attached it to and I got the handle all braced up. So this will just simply click into any Milwaukee pack out setup you want to do and then you can just unconnect it and pack it around and place it wherever you need. That way if you need to move this away from the vehicle to get better reception you can just unclick it and do as such. So next thing we're going to be working on is getting this part done. This is going to house the uh, Wi-Fi router, the power inverter, and then our plugs to connect to it as well as the injector. So we will be putting these connectors on the side of the box here and then that ethernet cable that came from the Starlink will plug directly into this and then you just plug 12 volt power into the side of this and that will power this whole setup. So here's the finished results from my Starlink conversion with the Milwaukee Packout setup. Up top here you have the Starlink that I trimmed down and put in the star mount system. From there, I made an aluminum plate that it bolts to, and then the Milwaukee Packout is uh, connected down underneath of it. 
As you've seen, I trimmed down the Milwaukee uh, container, which was one of these that I trimmed down. So I trimmed that down, bolted it to the plate that I made for the Starlink, and this houses the Starlink setup. So this is a complete unit that you can attach to Milwaukee containers, any of the pack out stuff. The reason I did it this way is if you uh, don't have very good signal wherever you have this set up, you can move it further away from the vehicle and it does not keep the Wi-Fi router built into it. So you don't have to worry about losing Wi-Fi signal when you move the Starlink away from the vehicle. So when you have this mounted up on top of the vehicle in a Milwaukee Packout rack, you just simply leave the Starlink on it and then it clicks into the side here like such. But if you want to move it away, you just undo it, pull it apart, and then you can go move it away from the vehicle and add your extension cord. So this lower one houses everything else related to the Starlink, which is the Wi-Fi router, the uh, um, step-up converter, the injector, and then on the outside here, I have my 12 volt lead that clicks into that. And then this is the ethernet cord. Over here, I have 75 feet of extension cord. So you will just pull that out if you need to move the Starlink away from the vehicle and then you can connect it there into the Starlink. So anyways, that's why I went this route is if you do need to move the Starlink away from the vehicle, you can keep this setup in the vehicle and retain all of your Wi-Fi signal. Also, uh, if you're mounting this setup on a vehicle that is on the outside, everything here is waterproof. Even the uh, connectors that plug into the outside of this container are waterproof as well. All I did for that is I shaved down the plastic a little bit and I was able to mount those in that spot as you can see in here. And then everything here fits. It's pretty tight, but it fits without uh, pushing up against here. We have the Wi-Fi router and everything mounted on this side. So. I think it's a pretty slick setup. I like the fact that it is, uh, you can clip it into other Milwaukee packout stuff. So I carry a lot of tools when I go off road um, and those will usually be in a Milwaukee packout. And this is great because I can just click this on top and I have all the internet that I would need in any spot. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'll end up adding a port on the outside of my Alu cab that just the Starlink will plug into and then I'll add some uh, 12 volt leads to like my other vehicles in various places so you can plug in the uh, lower portion of this and have your power. Like I stated before, this is a complete 12 volt system. So I eliminated the 120 volts that you usually have to run with these. It is now just your general 12 volt system Pretty excited about this. I think it's gonna work great. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm kind of excited to see your guys' feedback on it. Hopefully it works good. I think it'll be rad. I will also have links down in the description to all the parts that I used for this. I got pretty much every single thing on Amazon except for the housing for the Starlink. So, and the pricing on that stuff is relatively low. It's